Ahoy there, cruisers. Captain Mike here. In just a few days, we'll be departing on a 38-day cruise from Buenos Aires, Argentina, all the way to Portsmouth, England. And we've got a few little gadgets that we take along with us on every cruise that we thought makes our life better and we thought we would share them with you so you maybe make your life better. But first of all, I have to lose these navigators. They're, I really can't see out of them. So let's switch back to the semi-Captain Mike. There we go. Oh, things got a whole lot brighter in here. Well, the first thing I want to talk about is this power strip, this little guy. You know, how often have you gotten on a ship and you find that there's just not enough outlets for all of your digital devices? And this little guy will let you charge, I think I've got it upside down, but here you go, two USBs and three ACs down here. And on the back, it's got a single adapter to plug into the wall. And you'll have at least one of those in your cruise cabin. Now we're going to be on Norwegian Star. I haven't been on Star for a while and I'm not sure uh, what they have, but I know we were on the sun uh, in November and it, it was very short of this kind of device. Now this is cruise approved. It's not a surge protector. So most cruise lines won't have a problem with it. And we've used it um, in, in recent months on a Disney cruise line and also on Celebrity. <clears throat> Comes in very handy. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to talk about. Now staying in the realm of adapters, this cute little guy, this little blue guy, is a universal adapter so that you can use different plugs in different countries. Now it doesn't convert the power, but it does let you adapt the plug. And I'll show you more about that in a little bit. But for example, if you are an American or Canadian, or I think Australian, and you're in the UK, and you have um, a dual mode or dual voltage hair dryer or curling iron or something, you just go on this side right here where it says UK, slide that out, and then on this side, up pops the traditional UK plug, right? So you're cool there. So then, as you move on, if you go to over to the mainland of Europe, on this side, you just pop that little guy, and out comes the standard European. Now these are all 220 over there on, in the UK anyway, but that's okay because cell phones and um, iPads and that kind of device will run just fine on 220 charger. And it won't blow up, I promise you. And here on the back, there are two USB ports right here. Now, if you're coming the other way and you've got UK products or European products, on this side, you can see all the places you can plug in your various products. And then on this side, instead of sliding it over towards UK, just slide it towards US Australia, and there you are. You've got the right kind of adapter to go into the wall outlet in the country you're visiting, okay? So getting away from the electronics for just a minute, let's talk about something that's just real simple and that we found to be very handy. And that's these little guys right here. These are from Neo Musk, I believe is the name of the company. And they are little tiny magnets that will hold, they say 27 pounds. And uh, you can always find some metal in your stateroom where you'll be able to hook this in. Just, well, hook it in, <laughs> put it against the wall and it'll hold quite a bit. We, uh, we oftentimes hang a towel or a jacket um, um, uh, a tote bag, a few other things that we've used uh, on our cruises that we hang from this. Now, a little hint that something I've discovered about these, and I hope you'll be able to see this. They're screwed in. This little part screws in, see? Sometimes this gets a little bit loose. So you got to be careful. It doesn't want to do like that, right? So what I've done in the past is I take a little bit of super glue and I just put it right down in this little spot and then that won't ever come out. So those are cool. And they come in a bag of like seven or eight of them for very little money on Amazon. And I'll, I'll put up a link later on for all of these, all these products. Okay, so just for a moment, let's go back to this little guy that we showed you a few minutes ago. And the reason we bought this for our trip to the UK a few years ago was because of this little guy, my wife's curling iron. Now, you can't be in Europe, I guess, well, it's people with hair and need a curling iron, but you see it's got standard U.S. 
plug on it, but it's a dual voltage unit. It'll run on 110 to 240, and it auto senses that and sets itself up. But you can use it to plug right in to this little guy. Just like that. And then put it into the wall, as I showed you earlier. Somewhere. Yeah, just like that. So if you're in, we were in Barcelona this last year and we used this, it worked just fine. And uh, that is also available on Amazon. And of course, I will have a link for you later on. Now, the last device is something that we just uh, decided to get this year. Um, you know, you're up in the middle of the night, you know, like old guys often are, and have to make a little visit to that tiny little bathroom in your cruise cabin. You'd like to have a little light along the way. Well, these little guys, they come in a package of three for like 12 bucks on Amazon, and they are motion sensor lights. And you can set them into the off mode, or you can set them into auto. Oh, I guess that's on. Yeah. I'm sorry again. That is on so it's bright all the time see there you go put quite a bit of light and then you can slip it over to auto which means that if uh and it'll only work in the dark in auto so when you it sees a motion as like the door opens or you walk in or whatever it'll come on and it stays on for 15 seconds which is just about the right amount of time and if it goes off you just wave your hand and it comes back on again um, and you can also if you were if for some reason want to you could actually turn it on uh, permanently on and it'll just stay on and it'll stay on for about I understand um, 20 hours 19 hours without uh, having to be recharged and that recharge thing is a pretty important feature I believe because you don't have to change batteries it's the batteries are in it and they're rechargeable lithium batteries so this is a cool little deal um, by the way if you charge it and use it on the automatic mode they say it will run for 90 hours in auto mode. Well, that's plenty enough to get you through a seven day cruise or even longer. And um, of course it comes with these little discs, these little guys, and they're pretty sticky. And they go on the back, this is the magnetic part right here. And it adheres to the back of the unit. And then if you wanted to install these at home for like a closet or somewhere, they come with these little metal discs, which are also a ma a metal, so the magnet sticks to them like, like that. In fact, we put one of these in our bathroom in, here at the house, and wait a minute, I'm gonna show you a quick video here. Um, yeah, this is me walking through the main part of our bathroom, heading towards the water closet, and you'll see the light come on. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So I believe that is it for right now. Um, if you look at the, in the description on our video, you'll see a link to all of these items on Amazon. And all you folks on the Norwegian cruise with us, that'll be the Norwegian Star. We're going to do three back-to-backs. We're starting in Buenos Aires to Rio. Rio, do a transatlantic to Lisbon. Then Lisbon, we're staying on board up through Hamburg and down to Portsmouth. Always have a problem remembering Portsmouth because I'm so used to going into Southampton. But anyway, once we're in Portsmouth, then we're personally we're going to go to London for a few days, and so we'll be using our little blue guy in London, I'm sure, and then we'll be flying back home to Florida. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like it, please subscribe, and if you uh, have an interest in any of these products, please click the link below. I'm an Amazon associate, so I get a tiny commission if you actually buy anything, so I appreciate that. So until next time, hold on. I'm Captain Mike, wishing you bon voyage.